hello everyone welcome back to my channel if this is your first time coming across my video please consider subscribing for the returning subscribers thank you so much for always supporting my channel in today's video i'll be sharing with you how to make strawberry jam at home it is very easy to put together you just need two ingredients and we are done so let's go through our ingredients now so you'll be needing strawberries which i have mine here now you can take off the green stuff but i want the green leaves there okay that's why i'm not taking it out but you can cut them off then i have my sugar you need a lot of sugar for this i'm going to begin by chopping my strawberry into smaller size you can just blend this but i want it chunky and i'm done chopping it this is it so i'm going to transfer all the strawberry into the into the pot then i'll go in with my sugar i will stir until everything is well mixed without turning on your gas or your heat i'll just stir on this the sugar is going to help it to release the juice from the strawberry. After stirring it, I will cover it and give it three to four minutes without turning the gas on, okay? It's still just the strawberry and the sugar. So, can you see the liquid that this uh, strawberry release? Look at that. So that's why you should not add water. Now we'll let it to come to a rolling boil. I'll cover it first. And let it come to a rolling boil so now it's time to open it because it's beginning to fume just this way take off the cover and keep it by the side you want to constantly give this a stir can you see how much liquid this has brought out now imagine that you added water so we'll let this to keep cooking until this film stops that is when you know that your jam is ready but for now it is not ready yet we'll keep cooking it from time to time you just want to go in with your spoon and stir after 10 minutes of cooking then i will use potato matcha and match it i still want it chunky but if you want it smooth then blend it first before putting it in your pot so that you will not have to match it but if you want it chunky, cook it for 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, just go in with your matcha. This is how the potato matcha looks. And just match everything. After matching for a while, I will just go ahead and let it continue cooking. Now I've swapped the spoon with the spatula because this time it is going down and it's sticking by the side so i'll swap it with the spatula and as you can see now it's getting thicker but it's not yet ready if you want to know if it is ready it will start it will stick to this thing when you turn it this way but now it's not ready yet because it just fall off so fast so it's not ready yet we have to continue stirring it So it's getting thicker now. At this point, you want to reduce your heat because if you don't, it will splash all over. So if you can see the where my finger is showing, there is a splash. It's an even here. The handle of the pot. The splash is so you want to reduce the heat at this point and let it keep cooking so this is now getting ready because look you see it's not going out of the spatula easily so that means it is almost ready you just want to stir it very well at this point because any little mistake it will burn to check if this strawberry jam is ready you need Cold water just like here scoop out a little bit just like this and see if it's 
good that means it is ready because it is floating on the top of the bowl just this way once you can easily get this out that means it is ready can you see that the water is clear and it falls out so that means it is ready so now it is all ready and I'll turn off my heat and let it cool down completely so I'm going to put this into this jar this is our jar just look at how thick this look can you see that it is not cold it's not completely cold down but I'm going to let this to cool down before I put it in the fridge you want to store it in the fridge just look at this delicious goodness you see how thick it is you can put this over your bread and enjoy it you know if you enjoy watching today's recipe if you did please remember to like share comment give me a thumbs up and i'll see you in my next video until then always remember that jesus love you so so much bye The battle is not by strength or might, by the Spirit of the Lord in prayer and suffering.